Namaste and good evening to all. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to the Mandala Art session by Mrs. Deva Shah. The word Mandala means circle in Sanskrit. Today we are here to unfold the hidden talents and creativity by mastering a new art form. First, I would like to invite Kavya for the welcome speech. A very warm welcome to the Mandala Art Online Workshop. It is truly a pleasure to have each and every one of you join us for this inspiring event. First of all, I would like to welcome our director, Dr. C. Satish Sam, who is well-versed and experienced in developing student-centric environment and learning experiences. I welcome you, sir. It's my turn to extend a gracious and inclusive welcome to a respected principal. Mr. Rohit Satish sir, who always encourages and builds confidence in each one of us. Welcome, sir. I extremely feel honored to introduce our resource person. Deepa Shah is a self-made mandala and doodle artist practicing since eight years. She has collaborated with brands like Anupam, Scholar, and Numic. She has conducted so many workshops and live sessions successfully on mind healing and meditative drawing. On behalf of all present here, a warm welcome to you, ma'am. I'm extremely happy to welcome our beloved headmistress, Mrs. Niranjani, ma'am, and Mrs. Sina Hariharan, ma'am. Persons with sense of commitment, immense patience, and responsibility. I welcome you, ma'am. I take this opportunity to welcome our dear teachers who unfold our hidden talents and creativity. Welcome, teachers. I welcome the co-curricular and technical team to the session. I welcome all the parents for their constant support and encouraging us to actively participate in all the events. I welcome you parents. Last but not the least, I welcome principals of Hubbard Schools and all my fellow friends, waiting eagerly for the session to commence. In this workshop, discover the depth and the beauty that lies within the sacred designs through step-by-step -step techniques, guidance, and a variety of creative exercises. We will learn how to create standing mandala designs of our own. I hope you will enjoy this session and master a new skill. Once again, a warm welcome to the Mandala Art Online Workshop. Let us begin this extraordinary adventure together. Thank you. Thank you, Kavya. Now we will move on to the session. On behalf of all present here, I extend a warm welcome to Deepa Shah, ma'am. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Uh, we shall start the workshop now. I'll turn my yes, camera. Ah, yes, ma'am. Okay, so this is clear for everybody, whatever is shown in the screen, all the materials. Children, if you have any doubt or any clarity, you can ask in the chat box. Okay, so I'm going to use here the basic materials, uh, A4 sheet, compass, you'll need an eraser, ruler, a basic protractor, pen, pencil. Okay, so uh, whoever is new to Mandala, uh, do it with pencil. Don't use your pen. Uh, we shall start with uh, making the basic of uh, Mandala grid. So first I'll teach you how to form a grid and then we'll start circling and we'll fill in with designs. 
So for forming the grid, you have to divide the paper into two. So horizontally and vertically, just measure your paper. Here it will be 10 centimeter. Just put a point here. This is for a vertical line. And then turn your paper horizontally. It's going to be 14.5 centimeter. Just keep a dot. We are going to find a center point by creating the horizontal and vertical lines. Draw a straight line from that point. and the other straight line horizontally. So you get a center point, point. So I repeat what I have done. I have divided the paper into two halves, vertically and horizontally. So we get the center point to create the mandala. This side I have taken as 10, 10 centimeter. Keep a dot on the 10 centimeter, draw a straight line. This side I have taken as 14.5 centimeter. If it is your A4 sheet, do this. If it is not, please do it according to your size of the sheet, what you have taken. So you get a center point. If you have any doubt till here, please ask. So after this, take your protractor, keep it in the center, right on the line, perfectly on the line at 90 degree. With the help of your pencil, keep small dots at every degree, 10, 20, 30, 40, keep going, 60, 70, 80, 90 already has a line. So don't keep a dot here. Come to 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, and 180 already has a line. So every degree you're supposed to keep one small tiny dots. Similarly, turn your protractor on the other side. Keep exactly on the line drawn, 90 degree. Same way, keep dots on these sides too, at every 10 degree. Keep tiny dots, which is visible only to your eye because we are going to erase it after your mandala is going to be done. So don't do anything with dark pencil or something. Just do lighter lines and lighter dots so that you can erase it. Hello, Diva ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, could you go slow, ma'am? Yes, sure. Ah, okay, ma'am. Thank you. I'll repeat the procedure again from the beginning. So what I have done is I've divided the paper into two halves. I have measured it. My I've measured my A4 sheet into two. So here I've taken 10 centimeter. I've kept a dot and drawn a straight line. This side I've taken 14.5 and drawn a straight line so that I achieve a center point. From the center point, we'll start creating a mandala. So mandalas are generally started with center point. You have to have a center point to create the mandalas. It's in circle. So we'll go one by step by step, we'll create the circle. So for forming the mandala designs, we need a grid. So right now I'm teaching you how to make the grid first and then we'll fill in the designs. After dividing the paper, what I did is, with the help of protractor, I kept it at right 90 degrees straight on the line and kept small dots at 10, 20, 30, 40. At every degree, I have kept small tiny dots. Similarly, I took it on the opposite side, kept it straight on the line at 90 degree.
and I have taken dots from 10, 20, 30 to 170. Same thing what I did here, I repeated on the other side. Is it clear till here or should I repeat it again? Ma'am, you can go on, ma'am. Okay. So, should I teach this next step after this? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, once you have done the dots, from the center point, you have to connect the dots. Draw a light, straight line. Do it very lightly so that you can erase it later on. So, from the center point, I'm keeping a scale with the help of scale. I'm connecting the dot. Draw straight lines like this from the center. Every dot you have to connect from the center, like this. Draw very lightly. I'm doing a bit darkest for you people to see it. Please do very light lines so that you can erase it later. And whoever is doing it with pencil, and if you're not comfortable with pen, please continue with pencil only. From the center, every point has to be connected. Draw straight line over the point. Is it visible? I'm connecting from the center every point and it has to go above the point. Your line has to pass through the point. So these lines will help you to get the designs uniformly and perfectly into the mandala. We'll be creating designs inside these lines. So this is how your grid should look after you connect all the points to this center point. This is how it should look. Every point I have connected to the center point. If you have any doubts still here, please ask me. Ma'am, you can proceed, yes. ma'am. Proceed? Okay. Ah, so yes, next, next, what are we going to do is with the help of compass, now we'll start creating circles. Now, if you are new to compass and if you are not uh, sure of doing the circles properly, please do it with the pencil. Don't use pen. And if you're sure of your circles doing it properly, then insert the pen and do it. Or you can first do it with pencil and overdo it with pen. That is more easier. So now take your scale and compass. We are going to draw circles one, one centimeter. Okay. Every centimeter will increase. I'll keep telling you the centimeter. So measure your circle from zero. 
to one centimeter. See, I'm measuring to zero to one centimeter. The first circle is going to be that. Take the exact measurement, insert your compass perfectly so that it doesn't move. And draw your first circle as one centimeter. This is your first circle. So I'm writing it down in the corner of my paper. The first circle is one centimeter. Second one we'll be doing as 1.5. So from zero, measure it to 1.5. 0 to 1.5 and then create your second circle. I'm doing it with the pen because I'm used to it. If you are in, please do it with pencil. This is 1.5, 0 to 1.5 I measured. I've written it down here, the measurement, if anybody is not able to follow up, it's from one centimeter, then 1.5. The next one I'll take is two centimeter. Measure to two centimeter with your compass. Zero to two centimeter. and draw your circle. Next one will be 2.5. So I'm measuring to 2.5, 0 to 2.5. Write it down, 0 to 2.5. If anybody has any doubt till here, please let me know. Children, if you have any doubts, you can ask in the chat box. So after the 2.5 is done, take uh, we are going for three, three centimeter. Next one is three, measure to three, zero to three. Three centimeter. After the three centimeter is done, we are directly going for 4.5 because we are going to do a bigger design here. So whenever we do a bigger design, you need a more space. So you, you can keep more space. So I'm doing 4.5 centimeters. So we achieve a bigger pattern here. So I'm going to do 4.5. Measure to 0 to 4.5. Next one after 3 is 4.5. If you want close designs, you can take the lesser measurement. And if you want bigger designs, you can open the uh, measurement and you can leave more space. So it can be... Um, you, you can do bigger designs with that. So you keep more space. So from three to 4.5, I've come. So I kept less uh, distance here's, here is because it will give you a close designs. So you will also learn to do close and intricate designs with this. And from here, we'll do bigger designs. So you also learn open patterns. So I'm, I'm going to teach both. Yes. 
Ma'am, could you uh, please slow down, ma'am? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, okay, thank you, ma'am. So next one is three centimeter. I did this last one as three centimeter. Then I did was 4.5. So till 4.5, I'm going to pause. Once you all have done, then we'll start the next one. So I was, I'll just repeat what I was telling. Here we did the inter, the circles were more closer and with less measurement was because we achieve intricate designs here. And the next one I kept more gap is because you can learn open and bigger designs here. So I'm going to be teaching both. That's why I've kept two different measurements. So last one was 4.5. Once you have finished 4.5, please let me know. I will we'll go further down. Children, if you have finished now, you can just message in the chat box so I can tell ma'am to proceed. You can give a thumbs up also. Ma'am, you can proceed, ma'am. Okay. So next one, we stopped at 4.5. Next, we are doing is 5 centimeter. So next, again, measure it to 5 centimeter with the help of your scale. 0 to 5 centimeter. And create a circle. I've written it here. All the centimeter measurements I've written here, you can note it down. Once you have done the five centimeter, the last circle will be 6.5. The next one we'll do, the last one is 6.5 centimeter. You can also go beyond that. You can create your own designs. You can keep making circles as big you want. And you can keep creating bigger uh, mandala. But for this mandala, I've kept last as 6.5 centimeter radius. Measure to 6.5, the last circle will be. You can also do bigger than this. Once you know how to do the mandala, you can also create more circles and keep doing the same designs. So I repeat, 5 centimeter after 4.5 centimeter, it was 5. And then last one I did was 6.5 centimeter. So now we have done with the grid. The grid is ready. The mandala circles are ready. Now what we have to do is the last stages to fill in with the designs and patterns. The first step is to divide the paper. Second, second stage is to make the grid for Mandela. So it gives you uniform patterns. So these are the lines which is called grid for Mandela. 
and the third stage is creating circles of mandala this can also vary according to the designs you want to do So everybody is done with the circles. Shall I start with the patterns now? Chalan, you can show thumbs up if it finished so that ma'am can proceed. Yes, ma'am, you can proceed, ma'am. Okay. So the center, the first circle, we'll be leaving it just like that, okay? We'll give a yin yang design to this this i'll tell you in the end after the entire mandala is done we'll do the center circle forget the circle for now the center circle we'll just leave it for now go to the second one the second one i shall zoom a bit so that you can understand how i'm doing the patterns is this more clear now yes ma'am it is clear ma'am Okay, so I'm doing it with the pencil. I mean, sorry, with the pen. You people can do it with pen, uh, pencil if you're not comfortable because every pattern is a little different. You can start practicing first. So I'll, I'll give you the patterns in the side. You can practice it later. Uh, the first pattern is going to be an inverted U. So first we'll be doing this. This is inverted U shape. This we are going to fill in the second circle right now. You can note it down in the side. This is called inverted U. This is the one which I'm going to do in the second circle, this one. So now this grid is going to help you to give a uniform inverted U. What we have to do is take two boxes for one inverted U. Start from one line, end it on the third line. Leave one line in between. Start from one line, leave it on the third line. Again, every alternate line you have to do it. Inverted U. I'm leaving an alternate box like this and creating this inverted U pattern. If you're not comfortable with the pen, please do it with pencil first and then you can overdo with the pen. Take every two grid boxes to create this inverted U. This grid box will help you to do uniform mandala without any mistake. If your grid is fine, your mandala can never go wrong. And then when you see these negative spaces behind, can you see the gap between the inverted U? Fill in that. Just shade that off. Don't leave any space. Fill in these boxes behind. Space between two inverted U, fill it up. That is called the negative space. So I have done this pattern called inverted U. Note it down in the side so it's easy for you to take it as a reference.
Any doubt till here? Should I proceed? Children, if you have done with the first pattern, you can just put a message or thumbs up. Or if you have any doubt, you can ask also. So once you have done this, inside this inverted U, we are going to do a simple I. The way you do this I, right? Like this. Just do this inside that inverted U to finish the pattern. Straight line and a dot. Straight line and a dot. So the first pattern is completed. Next one is very simple and easy. Uh, we are going to do a circle, just circles, tiny circles in every box. These kind of circles next to each other. We are going to be doing this. Do it in every box like this. In this also, you'll find negative space happening. Please shade off the negative space like this. Are you able to follow? It's a very simple pattern. Just circle next to each other in every box and fill in the negative space. So my second pattern is also completed.
if you have completed circles we can move on to the next one the third one yes ma'am you can proceed ma'am okay so the next one what we did here was a small in, uh, inverted u right now we are going to do a little bit broad inverted u here so what you do is take every two box and create a broad one inverted u like this it will be little bit of an open pattern open inverted u take every two boxes and again fill the negative space behind the inverted u don't leave any gap it look very incomplete so please fill in the gaps so i have completed the inverted u with the negative space also i have filled it up i'm doing the broad inverted u here so that it's easy for you to refer ma'am yes? hello ma'am pravasti has one doubt ma'am yes one second pravasti slow down ah you can ask da ma'am yeah. yes can you slow down a bit yes sure thank you thank you so whatever i've made here i have done it here in the side so you can note it down the patterns what i filled here it's done it here children if you have any doubts ask in the chat box once you have completed let me know i'll proceed
Yes, ma'am. You can continue, ma'am. Okay. In the same inverted U, now we'll fill this inverted U with design. Okay. So the straight line is going. Drag a straight line. Both the sides give vertical veins like this, like a leaf. I'll do again and show. Straight line. Both the sides vertical. Veins like this. So your pattern will look like this. Ma'am. Yes. Um, can you again tell the measurements of the circles and uh, how many lines should be drawn between the quadrants, ma'am? Uh, how many lines should be drawn between the quadrants, ma'am? Uh, like uh, you have divided it into squares now, ma'am. I've divided first oh, the paper. The oh, paper. Yeah, 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 yeah sure, sure. So what I have done is the starting one, I've divided the paper into two halves. That is 10 centimeter I've taken here. Uh, horizontally, uh, vert horizontally and vertically, I've taken 14.5 uh, centimeter. So here it is 10. Measure this to 10 and draw a straight line. And here I've taken 14.5. Measure this to 14.5 centimeter and draw a straight line. You achieve a center point. Once you get the center point, keep your protractor on each, each sides like this. Right on the straight line, 90 degree, and mark every degree from 10 to 170. Mark every degree at 10 degree, like 10, 20, 30, and then same thing repeated on the opposite side. Keep it correctly on the 90 degree and please do it or else your grid will go wrong. Point every degree here with the pencil. Mark every degree. Once you have marked the point, connect from straight line. From the center point, draw straight lines to the points what you have created. Every degree has to be connected to the center point. So we form the mandala grid. Once the center point and the points are connected, take your compass, measure with the scale to these centimeters what I have done here. Started with one centimeter, 1.5. Then I've taken two. Two point five. Three, then directly on to 4.5 centimeter, 5 centimeter, and then 6.5 centimeter. So these are the measurements for the circles I've taken, the radius measurements. Note down these measurements so that you can, it is easy for you to create the uh, radius for the circle. And patterns I have drawn here, whatever I've created here, I've drawn it in the side. You can note down these also. This is the first pattern I did. This is the second one. And this is the third one. The center circle, the first circle, we have left it blank. I am filling the third pattern with these kind of leaf design, vertical veins on each side. Just draw a straight line and give a vertical vein like this on each side. If you have any negative space in your patterns, please shade it off to black.
any doubt in this patterns what i'm creating is it simple and easy to follow try creating your own patterns also you can also use your imaginative ideas to create your own patterns you're free to do whatever patterns you like to Once you have completed this, we shall move to the fourth one. You can also add colors inside these designs later on after the class. You can add uh, different, different sketch pens or colors, you, whatever you have, you can add and you can make it more colorful. After the class, you can do that. I'll go to the next pattern. The next pattern is a very simple snail pattern. I call this as a snail. I, you have to just create small tiny snails next to each other. In every box, we'll create snails like this. So I'm taking each box and creating a snail like this. Again, shade of the negative space between the snail design. Don't leave any negative space. Ma'am, Prahelia has one doubt, ma'am. Yes. Ah, Prahelia, you can speak now. Should we uh, color? I mean, we should uh, like. Color all the negative spaces. Yes, you are supposed to shade the negative spaces. To, to make it look complete, you have to shade all the negative spaces. Yes, ma'am. Yeah.
Do you have any doubts till here? Easy to follow? Once you finish this nail design, we'll proceed to the next one. Children, when you finish the last pattern, just give a thumbs up. Yes, ma'am, you can continue, ma'am. Continue, okay. So the next one, I'm drawing the pattern here, okay, on top. Next one is going to be a bigger pattern. We are going to create a leaf like this. We are creating a leaf and then an inner leaf like this, okay? After this, I'll teach you the inner, inner pattern. First, let us do the leaf. Take two boxes together. Start from here. Point it at the third, uh, second line and bring it down at the third line. Again, continue. Use every two boxes to do this. Along with it, in the side, you can also do the inner leaf. So I'm taking every two boxes to create this outer leaf. And same way, I'm doing the inner leaf. Take two boxes to do the outer leaf and along with it, create the inner leaf. Same design inside. Any doubts with this leaf pattern or anything, please ask me. So we kept that uh, three centimeter, after three centimeter, we directly went to 4.5 centimeter, right? This is why I kept more space for creating bigger design. So after three centimeter, we did uh, directly 4.5. So the more space you keep, the bigger patterns you can create. 
the less space and less centimeter of the radius you keep, the intricate patterns you can create. Once you have finished the leaf pattern, let me know. I'll show you the inside design. Yes. Ma'am, I have a doubt. Yes, please ask. Ma'am, for the snail design and the design below it, how many boxes should we leave? Uh, for the snail design, it's a every box. Every single box, you should do the snail design. For the design below this is two boxes. Just like how we did this, take two boxes. Thank you. Yeah. Has everybody done the leaf design? Yes, ma'am, you can continue, ma'am. Okay, so now inside the leaf design, we are going to be doing a pattern, okay? Again, draw a straight line inside this like this. One side, I'm gonna do a half flower design. Petal 1, petal 2, and petal 3. One side, I'll be doing vertical veins like this. I'll repeat it. I'll do it inside this and show you. Draw a straight line. And then drag a petal 1, 2, and 3. Negative space has to be shaded off. Another side I'm doing vertical veins. So the left side is vertical veins and the right side is three petals. The three petals are inverted U, the same style, how you did. Inverted U, but this is just connected to one point, the center point, like this. Shade of the negative space, don't leave it open. And draw the vertical veins again on the left hand side. Drawing the straight line, from the straight line, I'm bringing the petal one, petal two, and petal three on the right hand side. Vertical veins on the left hand side. Negative space with the petals. In between the petals, please shade it off.
any doubt in this pattern you can ask me Hello, Pradhanandan. Ma'am, I can't see the pattern. You can't, can't see, see the, the pattern. pattern. Can you see it the now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. 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 I have done the leaf pattern, the inside pattern also I have shown till here. If anybody has any doubt, you can ask me. Once you have drawn the leaves, the pattern, if you've completed, just single circle in between the two leaves like this, small dots you can keep. Make small circles. Yes. Can you please uh, show it more closer, ma'am? More closer. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Better now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So once you've finished the leaves, I've created in between the two leaves, I've just created a small circle like this to complete the fourth pattern. Just create small circles in between the leaf to complete this. That's all. Once you people have completed this, let me know. We'll go to the next one.
children if you are done with the work please show the thumbs up so the ma'am can proceed so the next pattern i'll just draw here who have finished it can follow this who is doing this pattern you can do i'll i'll teach you again not a problem uh the the people who have finished it you can have a look what i'm doing it's very simple just straight lines you have to do in the next box just like this straight lines you can start doing i'll show you how to do you can start doing start from the grid you have to complete the entire box just do straight lines in the entire circle like this connecting both the circles straight lines who has finished the leaves can continue doing the straight lines in the next circle the entire circle has to be filled with straight lines next to each other this is your next pattern if you have finished the leaves start doing the straight lines fill the entire circle with the straight lines any doubt till here please let me know you can continue ma'am okay so the last pattern we are going to go now uh, this is the last thing which we are going to complete the thing what we did here is called leaf pattern the same leaf pattern we are going to be doing here take two boxes together create the leaf pattern again like this again an inner leaf take every two box to do this in a uh, outer leaf and an inner leaf
So take two boxes each to do this leaf for the entire mandala. Let me know once the leaf is done, we'll do the inside pattern. You can go on, ma'am. Okay. So inside this leaf pattern, we'll be doing the entire flower, what we did here, no? Same thing, I'm going to be doing a full flower here. So I'll create a circle in the center, like this. Start creating a petal one here, petal two here, petal three in the center, four and five down. I'll do it again and show. Circle in the center. Petal one here, two, three, four, and the fifth one down. The negative space, please shade it off. In between the leaf. I'll do this pattern again and show. If anybody has the doubt how to do this, please have a look. Circle in the center. Your pattern one on the left hand side down. Petal two here. Petal three straight. Petal four on the right hand side. Petal five down. Negative shape. Negative side, please shade it. Similarly, center circle, one, two, three, four, and the fifth pattern. I'll do it here and keep. If you have a doubt, you can note it down on the side.
children if you have done with the last pattern please show a thumbs up So once you have finished the last pattern, I'll give you three options to fill in this space. Either you can color the mandala with your color pencil or sketch pen. That is option one. Second option is I'll do a triangle here. You can do this pattern and shape the triangle. I have done the triangle facing the mandala, this side. I have not done opposite side. I have done inside. So triangle point is facing inside the mandala. One is this pattern you can follow. Second is you can do third pattern is the vertical lines. You can create vertical lines in between the two leaves. Either you can do this or the triangle or you can color your mandala. You can color the space with color pencil or sketch or whatever you like. Similarly, you can color this negative space also with color pencil. You can also color the center, center circle like that. So I've kept it empty is for anybody who wants to create any colorful mandala, they can color this space. This space, this negative space, and this one, you can do a colorful mandala. You can also shade the circles here. These, these circles can also be shaded with the color pencils, what you have. So you can do the triangle or vertical lines, or you can color your mandala. So there are three options you can do. Any doubt till here, please let me know. Ma'am, uh, yes. can you another time, can you tell the uh, circle, the first circle, small circle, how to do it? You want the centimeter, the radius you're talking about? I've written it here. No, the first the, circle. Yes, ma'am. The one, uh, 1 1.5 centimeter circle. One, Yeah, so the first circle I took was 1 centimeter. You can note it down. Yes, ma'am. Uh, another one time, can you tell the uh, how to do the design, ma'am? Uh, these patterns, what I've created, all the patterns you want. No, ma'am, the center one pattern now you created, no, ma'am, that thing. Uh, which one are you talking about? This one? Yes, ma'am, that one. First you tell one? Me. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so this is yin yang. I have done, I've just done a yes here, like a S. It's just a deep S what I have done. So this is called a yin yang design. I just did a S. That's okay, ma'am. And one side has to be shaded. You can shade one side and one side leave it empty. So this is called the yin yang pattern. You can also do it with color pencils or color sketch, whatever you have. Just shade one side, one side leave it empty. Any other doubts other than this? Are you all able to follow? So the mandala is complete. Once you finish it, you can show it to your teachers in the school. Ma'am, if you have any uh, sample of that, we, that you have colored, can you please show it, ma'am? Uh, the thing is, I, I don't have my current mandalas with me. I've moved my place. I've moved to a different city. So it's back home. I'm sorry. But uh, if you want, I'll send it to the, to the teachers. They can show it if you want. I can share it. Currently, okay, I don't have anything. I don't have sample pieces of mine. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah. Children, those who are done with your works, you can show to the camera.
Ma'am, if you have more sample pics or uh, works like this, na, if you can share, please share it, ma'am. Yeah, I'll just try to share it through my laptop. One second. Ah, oh, okay, ma'am. Okay, so in the screen, can you all see? Um, I'll just show. Yeah. So this is the one which I've done with a pink marker. You can do the veins in pink. You can do the inner designs with pink. This is one I've used it with pink. Then I have done one on the canvas with red. I've painted the canvas red and on top of it, I've done the mandala. One is red and one is green. This is another one. I've done it with orange. The negative spaces, I've filled it with orange marker. So you get an idea with different colors, how you can use it in mandala. I've yeah. used two different colors here, yellow and pink. You can also go see it on my page. Um, I think they will share the page name. You can see it on my Instagram. I have a lot of pictures like these. You will get different ideas how I've created mandalas with colors and paint and designs. This I've done it with watercolor. I've shaded the background with watercolor and then I've done the mandala. This is my page name. If anybody wants to note it down, this is a page name. You can see all my work here. It's on yes. my Instagram. Yes. You want to color the mandala, Tama? If you want, it's your choice. You want to color, you can color it. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Ravasti, you can speak now. Ma'am, can you check if this is okay? Uh, I need to check. Yes, it's nice. It's neat. You've tried different patterns too. I can see that. Nice. Thank you. You're welcome. I can see all your artwork. Everybody's done very nice work. Nice. Nice. Good job. Very nice. 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 Everybody's used their own creativity. Very nice. Good. Keep it up. Next time you all can try with colors. Like you can do the outlines and try filling it with colors. It'll look very nice with colors. Nice, very nice, very pretty. Nice. Good job, very nice. I can see all your mandalas, very nicely done. Nice. Yes? This one? Nice. Thanks, ma'am. 
you all can continue doing your artwork whoever is not finished it continue doing i have seen everybody's art very nice you all can even post it on instagram and you can tag me too i will reshare your post if if anybody is on instagram shall we wind up ma'am yes yes if anybody has a doubt you can ask me or we can wind up okay the mandalas are done our uh, children if you have any doubts uh, you just ask in the chat box so ma'am can clear and we can wind up the session i would like to invite dhanvasri to give the vote of thanks a warm and cherished evening to one and all present i deem it a great honor and privilege to propose the vote of thanks on this memorable occasion i would like to express my gratitude to all for your presence and contribution to make this even a great success let me first start giving glory to the almighty god for making this occasion a great success i place my thanks to our beloved director sir dr c satish whose motivation and guidance has always taken us to the path of excellence thank you sir i extend my gratitude to our resource person ms deepa shah to take out her time from busy schedule to grace the session and spend valuable time with us i thank you once again for this fabulous session of mandala art thank you ma'am a special thanks to our principal mr rohit satish for providing immense support and encouragement to make this event successful thank you sir i extend my gratitude to our headmistress ma'am mrs niranjani for the constant and valuable guidance thank you ma'am i would like to thank mrs seena hariyaran ma'am headmistress sirat campus for the presence and contribution to make this event a grand success i must thank the students for participating in this program i would like to acknowledge the gratitude to the parents for their support i sincerely thank all the teachers for your presence last but not the least i express my thanks to the technical team for the arrangements thank you i once again thank you all who made the session a memorable one thank you thank you dhanvasri uh, so students you have to send the picture of your artwork what you have done today to your respective class teachers and bring it on monday okay so thank you so much ma'am for this wonderful session all of our children are enlightened with a new art form thank you so much ma'am thank you thank you for having me hope you all create more mandalas and you know improve your focus and improve your concentration with this mandalas okay all the best for your future guys bye thank you thank you ma'am thank you bye